clear broth. It doesn't doesn't add much. We'll do a quick rundown of all of the main elements in Dead Man Walking. The entire song started with this bass loop, actually, which is pitched up an octave. <laughs> I think my favorite part in the song is actually the chorus. We added in these electric guitars. I think there was four layers of electric guitars on different pickups and then two acoustic layers on top. And in that section, we've got a bass underneath too. So Grant started playing this riff on his MIDI keyboard. The main guitar in the build is actually a pitched down acoustic guitar that sounds like this originally. But with all the effects on it, it sounds like this. Whoa! So the drums are actually the drums from Orbit, just mixed differently. <laughs> Who said flamenco claps couldn't work in electronic music? Fill up the spaces, we added in a bunch of effects and we chopped up some guitars and also filtered them. And then we've got the most evil bass in the history of basses. Just a little burp as well. The drop also has these like super corny chopped up guitars. This was the final, almost final version of the lead minus a few layers. We've got yet another guitar which is from the build and then we used a plugin called morph to combine a guitar and a couple of synths together to get this so before i ever touched the vocals i wrote it with mccall and originally thought she was gonna sing it so this was what it that originally sounded like this is kind of funny when ellis and i first sat down to start this song we just gibberished a bunch of melodies with Alice and I first sat down to start this song. We just gibberished a bunch of melodies, which is something I'll do a lot when I just am too lazy to write lyrics in the beginning. And this is what that sounded like. The low vocals are literally just me singing them low and then hard auto-tuning them. Be back into my body. Pulling me back into my body. And there you have it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.